tonight, a nine-year-old boy is still fighting for his life two days after being shot while riding in a car. Lexington police still haven't made any arrest in the case. They say the boy was in the car with his family when someone fired a shot at the vehicle. As Kristen Kennedy tells us, family friends are now raising money to help the family. Friends of the family of the nine-year-old shot Saturday are doing what they can to protect them from emotional and financial strains. That's the last thing that we want them to worry about is their financial situation. Father lost his job a month ago. Moms, they're obviously not going to be working anytime soon. They lost their car and all of this. They, their only mode of transportation. Two family friends, including Ginger McMakin, have set up fundraising pages to try and help the family pay for the many expenses they'll now face. McMakin is incredibly close with the mother. And to protect herself and the family, she asked that we conceal her identity. She's my best friend for the last 10 years, and her son is my son's best friend since they, he was born. They grew up together. They're both nine. They're best friends. I love that boy like my own. As the boy continues to recover here, police continue to search for his shooter. They released a composite sketch of what they think that shooter looks like. You try to find reason to it, but you really can't. You really can't. And, um, you know, they didn't know this man. They didn't know him at all. Um, so that's what makes it even harder that there's people out there that would do this for no reason at all. Police are also looking for a white Nissan Maxima that could have been involved in the shooting. In Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. On WKYT.com, you'll find links to the fundraising pages helping the family of the injured boy.